to mother mary's protection family a very happy morning i ask our beloved jesus mama mary and saint joseph to bless you all and keep you happy and healthy and bring you all joy today today's catholic mass readings and reflections october 25 2022 tuesday of the 30th week in ordinary time personal reflection am i brave enough to engage in the fight to transform the world by my loving presence and by sharing my spiritual journey please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video's content please share with your friends please share on facebook whatsapp and telegram groups if you have any prayer requests please leave them in the comments section If this is your first time watching please subscribe and click the bell icon please help us grow our channel by offerings thank you first reading a reading from the letter of st paul to the ephesians chapter 5 verses 21 to 33 brothers and sisters be subordinate to one another out of reverence for christ wives should be subordinate to their husbands as to the lord for the husband is head of his wife just as christ is head of the church he himself the savior of the body as the church is subordinate to christ so wives should be subordinate to their husbands in everything husbands love your wives even as christ loved the church and handed himself over for her to sanctify her cleansing her by the bath of water with the word that he might present to himself the church in splendor without a spot or wrinkle or any such thing that she might be holy and without blemish so also husbands should love their wives as their own bodies he who loves his wife loves himself for no one hates his own flesh but rather nourishes and cherishes it even as christ does the church because we are members of his body for this reason a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife and the two shall become one flesh this is a great mystery but i speak in reference to christ and the church in any case each one of you should love his wife as himself and the wife should respect her husband the word of the lord thanks be to god response real psalm your response blessed are those who fear the lord blessed are you who fear the lord who walk in his ways for you shall eat the fruit of your handy work blessed shall you be and favored your response blessed are those who fear the lord your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home your children like olive plants around your table your response blessed are those who fear the lord behold thus is the man blessed who fears the lord the lord bless you from zion may you see the prosperity of jerusalem all the days of your life your response blessed are those who fear the lord the acclamation alleluia alleluia blessed are you father lord of heaven and earth you have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom alleluia alleluia gospel a reading from the holy gospel according to luke chapter 13 verses 18 to 21 Jesus said 
what is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again he said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. The Gospel lesson for today shows us how the Kingdom of God permeates all aspects of our daily lives. Every individual who prays is like a little seed. If we let God dwell in us, we start to grow strong, rooted in Him and wide and tall, providing shade and satiating the thirst and hunger of others who are in need. We thereby make them and their families happy. In life, a lot of things start a little without any thought as to what they might grow into. We had no idea we should grow into the people we are today, carrying out God's mission when we were born. Yes, a loving Jesus to mature in us is the key to entering God's kingdom. As we do, we grow to rely on him as a traveling friend and adore him. The way that birds built their nests in tree branches, so too should we nestle in the heart of Jesus, receiving nourishment from his love while assisting others in doing the same. Prayer Lord, thank you for feeding us with your word and periodically bringing up the importance of prayer. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us to always pray in order to have an impact on other people's lives and provide them with the safety from life's storms. Lord, you are the living East. Lord, please help us to be receptive to the transformation you want to see in us so that we can be a leaven in our society for the spread of your kingdom. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.